hello and welcome to whoever happened to stumble upon this video or come back to my channel hi my name is dana and i'm very happy to have you here today so today partially because my embroidery tutorial did really well and also because i happen to be doing another art project today i'm going to be giving you guys a little art tutorial so you can kind of see it right over there actually next to my embroidery one if you haven't checked out that tutorial and you want to learn how to embroider a canvas you know it's actually over here i always forget that it's like mirrored so check that out i'll pin it for you and put it down in the description so what inspired me to make another painting like this is one of my best friends she lives down in dc because that's where she goes to school moved into her new apartment and we were talking about decorations and that kind of painting is like totally her vibe and i was like you know what maybe i can make you one and we were talking about I'm probably not going to see her for a while because i can't go down to dc and she's not coming back up because of like the restrictions with states and everything so i decided i'm going to surprise her and make one and mail it to her so i'm gonna give you guys a tutorial and then once i'm done filming this intro i'm gonna move on over and kind of zoom in so you can see the painting abstract female form colorful painting and i asked her what colors she wanted and she said she liked this so i'm kind of gonna go for a similar just rainbowy kind of vibe okay so as you can see i have moved to the basement do my little setup don't mind my still life for my art class. <laughs> I'll be making some videos about my art class, also my week in my life video for my senior year, so check those out. Also, those little baggies are full of paint if they look suspicious. But I decided this is gonna be acrylic paint, so I have my acrylics, brushes, paper towel, water, palette, and my canvas. And then you want, and this is just my tripod so I can film. And for picking out your picture, I just Googled female form. Obviously, this is mature content if you're looking at nudity. So I'm going to show you my reference. So just a warning if you don't want to see that. Mine is a drawing reference. It's not an actual person, but I'm just going to show you the reference I'm going to use. So I like this one here on the right of that position. So that's what I'm going to kind of sketch out for mine. Obviously, you can find whatever you personally like but I just found this off of Google Images so credit to the artist PJ Holmes for their drawing all right hello and welcome to the tutorial so I'm gonna be adding in some voiceovers here and there to kind of help make this make as much sense as possible but what I really think is going to be the most beneficial for you guys is to watch I didn't really cut out any of the footage I just fast forwarded it so you didn't have to watch me paint for an hour but really the only stuff I cut out was me mixing paint off frame so I wanted you to see the whole process of the painting so what you see me doing first is just drawing in the basic shapes from my reference photo. It might be kind of hard to see because I try and not draw too dark because then it'll be hard for the paint to cover and I don't want there to be any pencil lines in my final product. Don't stress too much about the drawing part of it. Personally, I am a way better painter than I am drawing. I try my best to kind of just mock out the shapes and then it'll really come together in the painting. I just like to have a little basic outline of where I kind of want things to go in my composition so I know that when I go in with my paint colors. Then I just go in and kind of erase all over the canvas to make it so that my picture is still there so I can see it but make it really light so I can paint over it easily. So how I approached this painting was I wanted to start by just laying out basic lights and dark. So you're going to want to look at your reference photo and see where are the light parts of my photo, where are the dark parts, and what's kind of in the middle. So what I did first was I mixed up a light color, which for me was a light pink, and I went in and just painted everything that I saw as the light areas. Don't worry about it becoming too pink because I'm going to add lots of colors on top of it. I just wanted to have a basic bottom color of what is my light areas and what are going to be my dark areas. This doesn't have to be the lightest color in your painting. I actually recommend not making it super, super light because we are still going to add highlights on top of it. Same with when you go in with your dark, not making it the darkest color in your painting. It's just a base to get us started on what are the going to be the darker areas of the painting. 
So I did the exact same thing with that blue and marked in all of the kind of larger areas of shadows and parts that were just the darker areas in my reference photo. Again, this isn't going to cover the entire canvas. There are going to be a lot of white spots after I'm done with this. This is just the really dark parts and the really light parts that stand out to me when I look at the reference. Once I have my basic light and dark layers laid in, I'm going to go in with other colors. I picked ones that were a bit darker than my pink, so I did an orange to kind of go in around those layers of the really light color to start adding in some of my more mid-tones. And these are pretty similar in shade, the orange isn't too much darker than the pink, but I just wanted to kind of start adding in more colors and you'll see I added more lights and more darks as I work into it. I brought in some yellow to really brighten up my super light areas on my reference. And now that I've added in some more light and mid-tones, I started adding in more dark, so I came in with the purple, and since the purple was darker than the blue, I didn't want to just paint right over the blue, so I was kind of focusing on the areas that were the darkest and had some of the really dark shadows. You can also use this exact same painting method with skin tones. You can just look at it as the darkest, the lightest, the mid-tones. I just really like doing these types of paintings in color. I feel like it makes them pop and it's just a really fun style. Again, after adding in some more dark, I decided to add in some more mid-tone colors. Really how I approach these types of paintings is I just go back and forth between my lights and darks making sure that I don't have any colors, either warm tones or cool tones that are too overpowering. So I kind of want it to be a nice balance of all different colors. I don't want my painting to come off as too blue or too pink and I really just go back and forth and if you feel like you made an area too dark, you can just go back in and make it lighter with more paint. That's what I like about painting is you really can't mess it up because you can just paint right over it. At around this point, I decided to switch to a smaller brush to make really intentional like brush strokes of color, adding in colors I didn't have that much of yet. So I went in with some greens and some true red because I already had pink to really kind of add something to the painting and not just have the layer of the big blocks of color.
Next, I did end up adding in some white for my highlights. I didn't want to use too much white because the whole point of the painting is that it's really colorful, but I did add in a little bit of white for the places that were the most highlighted on the reference. My last step in these paintings is what I feel like really brings the whole thing together is I add in just a little bit of black. I'll add kind of lines along the outlines and the major shapes to really define things. You'll see I don't want to do an outline around the whole painting, but I want to add in just enough black to give the areas that need it definition, really give everything shape and make it pop. Also for these paintings, I choose not to paint the background and just leave it plain white. You totally could, personal preference, but since I have so much color in the painting, I don't want to add a background color. Also, sometimes it can really just be trial and error. As you can see, I had some issues with the under boob over here where I added in some black and it kind of went too low. So I wanted to fix it with a lighter color and it just kind of ended up looking funky. So I just ended up in the end adding a little bit of white under it to kind of help the shape and erase the part that I didn't like. And here is how the final painting turned out. I'm really happy with it. It's a little more zoomed in than my reference photo, but I like the composition of it a lot. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my painting and you paint along with me, you learn something. If you try it out and you wanna share it with me, you can either tag my regular Instagram or I have an Instagram dedicated just to painting. So you can check those out and tag me if you wanna post what you painted on your story or post or whatever, I'll take a look. Comment down below what you want to see from me next. Subscribe for more art content. I post new videos every Sunday and Wednesday, so stay tuned for those. What is it you want, Barry? What do you want? You, you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Hey, that's pretty good.